Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kemi and you're watching Sincerely KSO. We're going to dive into 15 minutes of Cat Williams. I'm going to be doing a number of comedy reactions that people have requested in the community because I put up a question and a poll asking everyone to tell me who they wanted to see. A lot of people said Cat Williams, Cat Williams. So I'm diving into a series of reactions with him involved as the entertainment study for the day. If you are new to this channel, you are so welcome. Please hit that subscribe button so that you stay updated with all my reactions. Remember to like and also leave your comments and suggestions in the commentary part of what you would like me to do in future. Um, if you decide that you want to be a patron, please head over to the um, description box and you'll see the link so that you can head over there and see full-length reactions of my music reactions, film reactions, <laughs> cooking videos, and more. Things that have been blocked here are available there. All okay. right. Thank you. <laughs> Play. Ladies, I'm telling you, you got to be the shit to you. Stop waiting on a nigga to verify whether you the shit or not, bitch. If you the shit, you the motherfucking shit. We tired of y'all getting with us and blaming us for shit we ain't even in control of. You done got with a nigga, now you talking about you fucked up my self-esteem. Bitch, it's called self-esteem. It's esteem of your motherfucking self, bitch. How the fuck can I fuck up how you feel about you, simple bitch? <laughs> If you 25 years or older and you still walk around talking about niggas ain't shit, you need to get a handle on your motherfucking life and take some responsibility, bitch. What you mean to say is all the niggas you fuck with ain't shit. You need to figure out what it is about your pussy that keep attracting ain't shit niggas. Had to be careful, though. Had to be careful, because weed is getting stronger every two weeks. And these niggas ain't sending out memos or bulletins or nothing. The shit just strong for no reason. And these niggas that sell the weed be happy than a motherfucker to tell you how much stronger this shit is than the last shit. Just as soon as they see you, just nigga, 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 nigga. You remember that shit I gave you last week, nigga? It's nothing, nigga. It's nothing. It's nothing, nigga. Nigga, it's nothing. This shit right here, nigga. This shit right here, nigga. Right here. This shit, nigga. This shit here, nigga. I always have some fucked up name. It's Cryptocrona kind of like, nigga. Always have some fucked up ass name. Like, nigga, this shit here, nigga. This shit here, niggas. This shit's called death, nigga. Like, nigga, that don't even sound attractive. What the? You mean I'm gonna hit it and die, nigga? Is that what? No, nigga, not death, nigga, death. You hit this shit twice, nigga, you can't hear shit. Like, nigga, I got shit to do today. What the fuck? Your kids been calling you all day. They're daddy! You gotta be careful. You got kids, you gonna have to cut down consumption. I don't give a fuck what you say. It's cool to get high. It is not cool to get high and eat up all your baby cereal. That shit is not cool. You wake up your baby already in the kitchen crying. Just, <sighs> Thank God you woke up, daddy. You remember you put the cocoa pups on top of the refrigerator and now they not even up there. Now you so embarrassed you gotta play it off with the nigga. You... <laughs> Nigga, that damn show ain't up here. <laughs> that motherfucking insurgents done come in our houses. <laughs> it can be a motherfucking house. So you gonna put up with some shit raising your babies, but you better appreciate them motherfuckers. They the ones that really fucking care. I know, I got adopted kids. That's a whole different shit when you got adopted. That means you just reaching in a bag hoping for some good shit. You just, please, Jesus, please. Ooh, that's a murderer, nigga. I know a murderer the fuck I see one anyway. <laughs> no, what I'm talking about. My baby girl, 18 months. She was born with crack in her system. When the baby born with crack in her system, they body don't develop right. So she was born at like four pounds or some crazy shit. So when the baby's born that small, then they put them on steroids so the body can catch up. I don't think these motherfuckers did the proper research that maybe crack and steroids ain't a real good combination for a baby girl. Got her walking around my house. 
house looking like 50 Cent in Pampa. She <laughs> Shit, you can't run up on daddy like that. I almost stabbed you. <laughs> now tell a nigga when you want some cereal. This is ridiculous. <laughs> That's my motherfucking boo-boo. <laughs> that cracking steroids done made her a gangster. She ain't even like a baby. She's just a gangster. You be trying to feed her and she, she just do gangster shit. You be trying to look at her, but she be giving you the fucking gangster back. She, you be like, come on, eat some more. She, You trying to play it off like you ain't scared. You just, oh, you ate a lot. You ate a lot. Don't even worry about it. I, I didn't see you. It ate this much. Huh? Comments come on stage and say you need to beat your kids. But as a father, let me just say publicly, maybe we should stop beating our kids. Publicly. We are tired of going to the grocery store to see you beat your motherfucking babies. Maybe your baby ain't bad, bitch. Maybe you's a bad mother. Did you ever think of that, you retarded motherfucker? That is a toddler. Your baby's supposed to like Skittles, you ignorant bitch. As soon as your baby touches the Skittles, you what the fuck did I tell you? What did I say in the car, bitch? What did I say in the motherfucking car? White people be like, you can't do that, bitch. That is so bad. That is so bad. Have we ever seen a motherfucker get his ass whooped all the way to an execution? Oh. You beat this nigga's ass to kill him? You could have just killed him, y'all. Sorry, sons of bitches. You... And CNN ain't shit. CNN said so they wasn't gonna show it while they were showing it in slow motion. <laughs> and put subtitles under this bitch so you can understand what he was saying clearly. Oh, no, no, no. Stop it, you're killing me. All of the government is pimps. They all pimps, because pimps say shit to you and then don't explain it. That's how okay. our government do it. A pimp will have a woman in the car and be like, get out there and suck some dick, we're gonna take over all of Stone Mountain. What? She don't ask no questions. She just, I don't know how it's gonna work, but I'm gonna do my motherfucking part. I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do. That's how the fuck our government treat us. Just tell us shit don't make no sense. What the fuck are we still doing in Iraq? Can somebody tell me and oh we killed God. everybody? That's why I this love America. Good. We some goddamn bullies. Oh we don't God. give a shit. We be on CNN like, say our name, bitch. Say it. Say it three times. To see if we don't come over there and kill everybody. You don't believe we gangsters? Tell me what the Iraqi uniform look like. I don't know. Don't worry, I'll wait. Because <laughs> you ain't never seen it. That motherfucker, we ain't killing they army, nigga, we killing them. We over there killing niggas in sweatpants, tank tops, flip-flops, and a cowboy hat. You shouldn't have been talking shit. I tried to tell people on the last tour, it was called Conspiracy Theory. I tried to tell people what the fuck was finna happen, and it done fucked around and happened. We said Trump had a chance because he was exciting. And America loves excitement. And Trump been saying exciting shit the whole time. Trump was on the news. They asked Trump about the leaks. Trump said the leaks are real, but the news is fake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard about the leaks on the news, sir. You are confusing me. That's like the police pull you over, you tell them the blunt ain't real, but the smoke is. <laughs> Take your ass to real jail then, since you are. The president is supposed to think of something, then talk about it with the Senate and the Congress, pass a bill, and then do it. Trump don't give a fuck. Trump sent off 50 missiles to Syria while he was in his bathroom with an Xbox One controller. <laughs> See what they say when they see that shit. <laughs> Trump don't give a fuck. It's getting dangerous out there. As black people, minorities, we used to just being able to watch the news a little bit and then walk off. Not with Trump. Niggas is watching the news like it's the playoffs. <laughs> Did they say anything about niggas yet? 
We got one more day then, one more day. White people, let me just tell you on behalf of niggas, nobody watches a presidential speech harder than niggas. We be waiting on this nigga to say anything that has something to do with us. We <laughs> America is about what the fuck you do when the shit happens to you. So now, oh I have to come back and tell my people they finna fuck us. When you go home into your 2012, understand they already have concentration camps in the United States of motherfucking America that they've been building for four years now. And the question is, who in the fuck is you finna put in there? We already got a prison, and that motherfucker is so packed. People, since y'all in here, I'ma let y'all know. Black people is y'all's friends. If they come after y'all, they got to come after us. And I can say that because we know if they start coming after y'all, <laughs> We next anyway. <laughs> Don't worry, Hispanic people. We will open up that Underground Railroad so quick. We got the blueprint. If you motherfuckers get in a fight with Chinese people, please don't think niggas is feeling I'm just telling you right now, I'm just telling you, as long as them motherfuckers make some of the best orange chicken niggas have ever tasted, for $1.29, you better not fuck with the Chinese. Not many kung fu movies as we done seen. We love the Chinese. We ain't gonna turn against them neither. Y'all can get us in a meeting all you want to. Just niggas, niggas, niggas. Huddle up, niggas, huddle up. We're having problems with the Chinese. <laughs> nigga, everything in my house is made from China, nigga. I got a Mitsubishi on 22s right now, nigga. I drove that motherfucker here. Black women definitely ain't gonna fight the Chinese as long as them motherfuckers make the best yaki we can ever find. Number 12, Jet Black. No fuck with the Chinese. I fuck with them Chinese people. They own everything, the cell phones and the internet. They'll shut off the whole internet. You be at work trying to get on MySpace. Just... Control, alt, delete. Control, alt, delete. Escape, escape, escape. No, bitch, ain't coming back. Drink right. They got a flu virus out there that's killing people. The flu is already bullshit. You don't need to catch the flu and die. Don't worry about me, I can't catch the flu. A lot of y'all don't know, every time you go to jail, you get a flu shot, so. I done had 22 flu shots. I, I can't legally catch the flu until 2026, I think it is. I can't, I can't get the flu, tuberculosis, none of that shit. I go to jail, they don't even make me take a picture. They let me pick for my book. Which one do you like, Mr. Williams? You can pick any one of these out. <laughs> and now on CNN, they say they just discovered 16 new super Earths. What does that mean? 16 new super Earths. <laughs> now let me speak for all niggas when I say what the fuck. <laughs> Here's a goddamn super earth. We thought this motherfucker was super the whole goddamn time. <laughs> Look at niggas, I don't believe none of this shit. It's true, niggas. They had it on CNN the same goddamn day I was on CNN. How the fuck could I have missed that? <laughs> they put the shit right up under me, blew a nigga's whole high. Just 16 new super <laughs> They planning on leaving us, people. Oh. Please remember where you heard it first, right at the cusp of 2012. They are planning on leaving our motherfucking ass right here. They got space shittles lined up with GPS navigation on star. And so understand that even if they was gonna kill me 
for the shit I got to say. I don't know why I'm still here in the first motherfucking place. What I do know is I've been waiting my whole life for 2012. I've been waiting my whole mm -hmm. life to think that the end of the goddamn world was finna come. So now niggas, let's mm -hmm. say it don't come. Can we agree to at least act like this gonna be our last time on this motherfucker so we can do it right one goddamn time. The amazing Cat Williams. Amazing, amazing, amazing. There's more to come. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. I had a blast. I was tearing up. Everything's coming out of his mouth was making me cry. Like I laughed so much. I needed this. That shows you how amazing he is, how wonderfully talented he is. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. On to the next.